Hey everybody, Josh here from Android Central, and this one's going to be a real quickie, uh, just because there's not much to say, you just see it happen, and that uh, kind of speaks for itself. It's this app here called Overscreen, which opens up a browser window that stays open on top of everything else you're doing in Android, and doesn't take up the entire screen, so you're still free to move around home screens, uh, open up other apps, things like that. So you just tap the Overscreen app right there, and bada bing, you get this window that looks you know strikingly similar to something you might see in uh, Linux or maybe even uh, probably Mac OS X something like that but you'll notice it I can still scroll around I could still do other things uh, in Android and still have this browser window open now you can resize it if you drag the bottom right hand corner sorry about that refresh rate on the bright white there and then right here you've got a little settings menu so you can open up another window if you'd like you can have multiple overscreen windows and at the same time you know have plume running behind it um... But we'll close that out back to the settings menu you can add something to bookmark share page copy URL. you can also force desktop version which is really really cool bookmarks and then hop into the settings and a very bare bones settings menu general set your home page uh, privacy and security, the, you know, cache history, cookie data, things that are fairly common for all browsers that we use, including uh, Chrome on Ice Cream Sandwich and the default Android browser. Here you can set your user agent. It's set to default. Um, you know, if you choose Android, that's where the forced desktop option would come into play. If you don't want to use a mobile site, you can enable plugins, keep the URL bar, embed videos, and auto hide. Uh, to notifications when external application starts. So you'll see down here uh, in the in the notification area I've got three open so I might not have closed one correctly. A little bit of bandwidth management, load images and then you're about. Share it, get more, and contact. Other than that, let's close out of this. Come on. Boom. Tap to terminate. Oh my. Let's open up another one. Uh, so let's see. Uh, everybody's favorite Android site. Android Central. Now this is loading the desktop version of the site and look at that. I mean scrolls, Instagram for Android showing off at South by Southwest. Man I wish I was there. Don't you guys wish you were there right now? Better than the iPhone app. That's good news for us. Alright, food winner. Let's say we want to make that a little bit smaller. Yeah, we don't really care. And look at that. I mean the whole thing scales down to how tiny you want your window to be. And then you are free to move about the country, y'all. Uh, let's say we want to you know, see what the weather's like. Oh, not that, excuse me. See what the weather is like. And we're checking out the weather. Oh, we've still got our browser window open. And then we can just go anywhere we darn well please. What's another website you like to go to? Well, doesn't matter. Um, and back. So that is Overscreen. Very, very cool app. Um, you can find it in the Google Play Store, formerly known as the Android Market, for a pre-sale right now of $1.49. Uh, one more time, it is over screen, it's $1.49, and you can find it in the Google Play Store.